You think anyone shoots straight than him? No. No. Literally no one. He, he definitely has a straight shot in, in CDL. Like, he doesn't miss. And then you have Brandon, the best straightest shooter in the- Literally in the whole world. Shoots the straightest. No one can shoot straighter than him. There's no one in the world more talented than Dashy. He's like, he's got so much raw talent. His shot, his reaction time is like insane. It's like one of the best. It's not like the best, to be honest. But his actual just pure shooting is the best in the league. Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Brandon or Dashy here and I've been peeping some of the comments down below. You guys have been requesting this. This is kind of the much anticipated video. Aiming, tips and tricks, tutorial, uh, settings, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, if you guys love these type of videos, just let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Love you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. First of all, we're going to be starting off with the class setup. It's nothing too crazy. This is probably just your average CDL uh, MCW build. If you guys do play comp or watch my videos or you guys know that the meta is still the same. Actually, let me move my cam so you guys can see it. Perfect. Bang. Take a screenshot of that. And that's pretty much it. It's just uh, the normal build. Flash hider, cyclone barrel, DR6, or some strafe speed, a little bit of movement. MK3. You could use slate. You could even use, I think this one. This is like the World War II one. But I remember this one's not bad. Just not as clean looking to be honest, but that one's pretty good. Slate is uh had a little phase with at the beginning of the game. It's nothing too crazy. Um just the average average build and just to clean up the actually I don't use a slate anymore, the pistol. This is the the CDL build, I guess if you're following GAs. If you're not following GAs, I strongly recommend you. <laughs> Where is this uh, muzzle? It's this one. This one is insanely broken. And I think you combo it with the, I don't know. There's like, I don't know. And whenever I play ranked, I get hit with some insane, insane cross map kills by this uh, pistol, especially with if they have the full build for it. But that's pretty much the, I guess the pro build for the CDL. And stun day, nothing crazy here. Um, this is pretty important in my opinion. If you are a an AR player, maybe even a sub player, depending on how the gunfights or the depending on some of the gunfights you're taking, uh, I strongly recommend Marksman. For me, it's pretty game-changing, especially if you're trying to peel people off of headies, medium to long range. You'll notice this a lot, especially on the longer gunfights on like Invasion, High Rise, Terminal, even on like the Eskies heady from Burger. It just makes it so if you are in those 50-50 duels, it just makes it a lot easier to win. Because if you do try it without, like I was using Quick Grip for a bit, and it's really good, obviously, if you are a trophy player, if you're using your stun nades a lot, which I do also use, but um, I don't know, it's just... It's just which one do you value a little bit more. Um, and also, at least for me, it's just one of those things where I know the type of gunfights I'm taking and Marksman just only helps. So super clutch, covert sneakers, not trying to get sound or, you know, the people using sound EQ. Make sure to have this on if you are, <laughs> if people just look really aware and ranked. And if they still look aware, they're probably hacking actually. So yeah, and flak, nothing crazy here. That's pretty much the build. And now let's go on to the juicy part of the video. We're going to go to the settings here. This is pretty much what I play. I play flips. So I shoot with my bumpers. Um, a lot of people shoot with their triggers, but for me specifically, ever since I moved to ps4 from the 360 this was a must for sure just playing with the bumpers it's just it feels like it's instant there's no delay if you play with the triggers unless you mess with the dead zones which are i think the like the left and right trigger and then i'll obviously talk about these dead zones like there's pretty much a delay if you, like in terms of like clicking down all the way through so but this setting wasn't a thing when we first switched to ps4 and i believe bops three so everyone just unanimously just use bumpers it was instant and then i honestly like it's just i kind of prefer it nowadays i don't think i'd ever go back but at the end of the day it's preference i don't really think there's an advantage at using either or but anyways let's talk about the left stick dead zones the left stick max and left stick min i use one i'm pretty sure like you pretty much don't really care if if you move a little bit left or right and how sensitive it is because you'll just activate the rotational aim assist which is i mean that can't be a bad thing you know what i mean like you just activate the dynamic perfect you know what i mean we're chilling and then left stick max here on 90 i was on 99 for a while but again same thing can't be a bad thing if you just activate the rotational aim assist a little bit quicker um i tried 75 i tried pretty much everything i tried 99 90 75 and i just found with 75 it was like too like it almost felt like i was gliding when i wasn't even moving half the time so i was like i don't know if i really mess with that so kind of just rested on 90 it feels really good right stick i pretty much just go between three or four anything lower could be good but then again this is all preference too i don't want to just make it seem like three or four is the best just because this is just what i use but i just found that depending on how new my controllers are depending on how my right stick is how stiff it feels or how uh, loose it feels and how how much wear and tear it has on it i guess if it's a really fresh controller i'll go with three and then as the controller kind of ages as the weeks go on i'll go to four and then i'll just rest it like here permanently pretty much until like anything happens to the controller but anything lower i kind of notice like losing a little bit of aim assist in terms of because i feel like the more you fight your right stick when you are on point that the less like the more you're like you'll break your aim assist at least in my opinion it feels like it's that you could kind of mess with it a little bit so i don't really touch that I guess it does feel maybe more like responsive, but I don't know. For me, it just this just this feels nice. I'm zapping, so <laughs> let's run it.
And now to this part of the video, uh, which is the the sense. Um, I was on seven for the past two years, and it was it was hella good. But then what I realized is I don't know if it's like a like a longer TTK game. It's one of those type of um, situations because in Cold War I played six six as well. Same thing in Bo four. So pretty much all three hundred fifty HP games. Right, I realized I just played on this, but um, oh my god, the lobby drop. We gotta fix that. <laughs> mid mid vid, like really. <laughs> We're just dropping mid vid. But anyways, what I was talking about. Yeah, I was on seven for the past two years. It was nice, but I feel like it's one of those things where as the gunfights go on, the only reason I didn't like it in this game specifically is just because I'd be mid to halfway through the gunfight and then I would catch myself sometimes. Not always. It's not always, especially in like ranked or like pubs, but it was more mostly in like pro matches, especially if you're playing against uh better players and then they're um a lot better at finessing like certain areas and especially in this game it feels like there's so much poles and so much like there's so much shit that's just on the on your screen that just could break your aim assist in terms of like a like a tree or like a railing so on seven it, that definitely doesn't help but um yeah so at six six it just feels perfect for me in this game and i'm pretty sure it's like what majority of pros play on um i want to say like 95 percent of pros play on this you might catch a few people on five five you might catch a few people on seven you might catch a few people i, I mean I, I think cells like on like 10 six or something so but that kid's an alien, so like we'll just we'll let it slide. And um, obviously, this is the main part of the, I guess, the magic. The <laughs> this is where the, I guess, all the the breads being made is in, in this setting right here. If you don't have this setting on, respectfully, you're trolling. Um, this thing it shoots for you. I know a lot of people just say that it's just the the response curve, and I, I just want to see if people were to shoot straight without this thing. If they were just on standard, you know what I mean? So um, it is what it is. We are in that era of COD, and I wish. This setting was never a thing because I feel like gunfights would just be a lot more. I don't know. They would look like, one. They last a lot longer. Two. It'd feel like the people that are zapping. It's like more, I guess, rare, and it would you just appreciate a lot more. But it is what it is. Aim assist type. This is also important. People play a black ops or default. I'm a default guy. I tried black ops for a day. I think last year, and it just wasn't for me. It, fe it feels like, in my personal opinion, it feels like it's better up close, but medium to long range, it's still good or it's like decent. But I feel like it does too much of the work and. It might sound a little bit odd, but I don't know. It feels like you can't fight it sometimes when people go in. Like, it feels like if people strafe into, like, a behind a wall, for example, my aim will legit fall in through the wall. But let's say if they do reach out, then it's like sometimes I can't even fight, like, that, like the last part of the aim assist, if that makes sense. So I'm like, I, I am messing with that. Make sure to turn this shit off. The gyro aim, Tzatziki, right here. This, I think, just makes it so, like, if you move your controller, like, it's going to, I don't know. I think it just makes it so, yeah, if you move your controller, I think it <laughs> moves it with it. So, like yeah turn this shit off we don't need that gameplay um i mean i'm a pro so i unfortunately cannot play single tap but if i was one of you guys and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know about this but single tap to run i mean um single tap to sprint i think makes it still double tap but um as soon as you get in the first sprint like form i guess you only have to sprint one more time to get to tax sprint but with double tap if you just even if you do get to that first form you still have to double tap to get to the tax sprint and single tap to run just makes it so just press it once and you have full auto attack um you could play with auto attack on i don't think it's as good though in my opinion as it is with uh with single tap to run but then again i can't play with this since this is ga unfortunately this obviously i know a lot of you guys already know about the slide only you can play hybrid but i think ant's the only player at least in the cdl that makes it or that uses it and also makes it work um <laughs> i had i tried it for a day and i don't know i was trying to slide sometimes and i'd just be diving at people and it looked way too trolly so i'm like we're deleting that all this stuff is pretty much I don't think any of these help with aiming, right? Ground mantle off, automatic. I mean, I can just show you guys everything, kind of just run through everything, um, since it also is, like, I guess, a settings video. Ground and mantle off. This thing's off. I think this just makes it so... I don't know what this is, actually. It's not apply while airborne. I'm pretty sure this is auto mantle, so I, I, I just need to have that off, because... The amount of like little ledges in this game that could mess you up if you're just like running around or just it could just mess you up especially on like skitter i feel like with the with the box hop I, i've noticed it like there at least if i didn't have it off let's see if i hop on like an alt account for example but that's pretty much it here punching underwater this was a setting that ant showed me i think this is just makes it so like i'm pretty sure sub base is the only map this matters on i think if you just jump in the water i think it just helps it like with your fov or like your guy centering looking better i think this is also pretty important to uh, put this on movement base. I'm pretty sure this makes it so if you mantle a wall, right? And you want it to look over the wall with your pistol. If you don't have this on movement based and mantle only, you'll actually, you can't even, I don't even know if you can do that animation. I could be wrong, but I remember I actually did it in the match on sub base and it looks so trolly, but I had this on mantle only. I forgot to change the setting. And I, I remember I saw sub base, it was like the old bunker hill. And I was just like looking over like the, the boxes. And I just insta mantle in front of three guys. Luckily I didn't die, but I was like, oh my God, that was like, I don't know why my guy did that. And it was like, oh, you didn't have your thing on movement base. I was like, that's why he's him. You know what I mean? But anyways, let's get back to the rest of this. Um, all this 
pretty default. I don't really touch any of these. Weapon mount activation. I actually usually have this off just so it doesn't even pop up my screen, but you don't really need to mess with that. Uh, that's pretty much it for here. Let's hop into the graphics. Monitor, refresh rate. Make sure this is at least on 240 if you have one of those or whatever the highest is for your monitor, but it's pretty much it. NVIDIA reflex low latency on plus boost i don't know the game comes with on but on plus boost just sounds like it's doing a lot more like you know what i'm saying like you're getting a lot more pack or pack a punch you know what i mean it feels like it's just like overclocked almost and i'm like i'm down for that and all this like i guess all these settings right here they came out i guess later in the game i don't really touch any of these i'm not the i'm not a pc wizard so i don't touch that but custom frame rate i'd leave it at 240 uh, for like the fps just because um yes my monitor does allow me to play on 360 hertz and i probably could play with it but i don't want to get used to anything that's better because this is again my streaming setup so i don't want to play on something that feels a lot different than my i guess sweat setup you could say the like cdl setup on my practice area but so i just leave it at 240 and uh, this is pretty important too let's hop into the quality we got upscale sharpening we got to press square and we get the fidelity cast make sure to put this at 100 this this tool is, is the life changer for especially if you're your game looks terrible and usually if i hop on the game on a new account and i get in and i my game looks absolutely horrible this is the first setting i'll usually look for because sometimes this will reset and it's i don't know why they just i don't know if it's just like randomly hop on that day and then god there's a ghost i think there's a ghost sometimes that just hops on your account and just turns off ninja settings i'm pretty sure that's one of the things that just comes with pc god so um let me know if anyone actually agrees with this you, you guys ever just hop on and then randomly you just look and then there's just three different settings that are just changed and then randomly you're like the hell did this shit this is i'm telling you there's a ghost going around there's pretty much like a ninja i don't know if he's hired from activision but he's turning shit off except for dynamic like that's the first thing that's like because he knows that's too obvious if he changes that what is this path tracing make sure to turn this off i think this is like messes with the what is this shit i think this is on by default but if you don't turn this off i think your game will actually lag so make sure to turn that off i think this setting comes with is 80 by default i just put it to 90 i think it just makes it um kind of like an nvidia or the nvidia on plus boost thing you know what i mean let's overclock it why not you know what i mean like you might as well put your pc to the work all this i put it to pretty much all my settings from like the details and textures i just make sure that all these are just pretty much is going to give me the most fps because at the end of the day fps is king especially if you're playing on pc and then just in terms of the way your game is going to feel and how responsive things are going to show up on your screen. And as long as the game doesn't look absolutely horrific, which like, look at the difference here. Like if you put it to low versus, I don't know if you guys can see at the bottom, right. But the estimated RAM usage, like just look how much more that your PC, I guess, is going to use of your, I don't really know if it's a graphics card or whatever, but it just requires a lot more FPS. And it's just low. It's just for me, it's just, I mean, you could go very low in it, but I think the game just looks absolutely horrific, but I still get a lot of frames on low and so I kind of just rock with that. You could use all these on like normal or high because if you guys look at the bottom right, I don't really think it messes with anything. But for me, I just game looks good. Still ripping on it. I think this setting is by default on on. And this is one that's you could have on or off. But I have this off. If you aim in this specific setting, the rest of your screen will kind of get blurry. And it'll only like focus on, I guess, what you're aiming at, which I guess it doesn't sound bad in theory, but just hasn't been in any cause. So I kind of just turned that off. Uh, all these low, very low, off, off. Make sure to turn this off. On demand texture streaming. This will also help uh, with your FPS a lot. Shadow quality, same thing. Um, I might actually put this to low. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but there are a lot of shadows in this game i don't really know if there's a difference between very low and low but let's find out i mean i just turned it off maybe i'll do like a post uh video soon just on specifically the shadow the shadow quality we'll see if it's makes a difference from very low to low and then here we'll get to the fov i play 98 i was on 97 98 the only reason i went from 97 98 actually is because scrap he's just i don't know he's just randomly stole my fov the past two years and then he's just not giving credit for it either and then he thinks that he thinks he's slick for it so like i'm like you know what like keep it actually you know i'm gonna go 98 i'll just go one up you know what i mean i'm not gonna go one down i'll go one up so we're on 98 and um that's pretty much it for all these i play affected as well actually that's actually i don't know that's actually big that i didn't um skip this but you could play independent but I don't know. You have to be a very specific type of player, especially an AR player, in my opinion. If you're a sub player on an independent, I think you're trolling, but I don't know. With independent, it does have its pros and cons. The pros are obviously that the longer the site or the longer the range, like I guess you'll be able to see a lot more. And then I guess in theory, it's going to be easier to, I guess, zap the guy, but <laughs> I don't know, dude. I think there is more. There, I don't know. Up close, I can't win a gunfight with this thing. I remember in Cold War, I had a little phase with it in, for three days and I was like, I'm never using this shit again. But um, with affected as well, I mean, I think the visual recoil is a lot less, which is definitely money especially if you kind of gives you the illusion i don't even know if it's illusion but it's it feels like it's a lot easier to rip people off of headies and that's all we really want right um these three make sure to turn all these off these two got to be off um what, 
world motion blur, weapon motion blur, you'll pretty much throw up if you play with this these two settings on. It's actually pretty it's actually pretty bad. If I if I ever have this on, it actually like I actually get nauseous playing the game. So it's the same thing with film grain. I'm pretty sure this is kind of like similar to the motion blur. It's by default on 25 of when you get the game so turn that off even these like these settings are all like throwing up settings right here like camera shake it's at 100 by default turn this shit down to 50 bro like what is what are we at cinemax what's that like movie theater at the where like the the seats are shaking the water is splashing on you like you know what i'm saying at disney or whatever like it's pretty much that like we don't really fuck with that um this i have it um my invert flashbang i mean you can't use flashes in ranked or like um cdl matches but at least if you're playing pubs if you're not trying to go blind so like i don't know people love flashes they're pretty godlike in this game especially if you're pubbing so have that on inverted audio settings i'm not the audio guy so i'm not gonna lie i just have these on pretty much standard stuff um hit marker sounds this is this is the only important thing in my in my opinion is classic or modern warfare i'm not gonna lie if the days i'm just trying to spice it up or i'm like maybe i'm in a cycle maybe i'm just trying to reset mentally i'll go to classic and then i'll go back and forth you know what i mean this is a good like mental reset keeps the game fresh for me sometimes I'll, it'll give you the illusion that you might kill a little bit quicker on either or so i mean try that out for sure but here we get to the interface this is actually kind of important um part of like i guess settings but um color customization i think here filter 2 is what majority of people play on but i also heard that if you don't have this on world then it doesn't really activate but then i don't know i remember i played this on world and like my game i don't i don't really like the way it looked but maybe this is like maybe i'm not even actually applying the filter 2 properly here but this is what i play on um that's pretty much it actually this is pretty important here like your colors for enemies um red you can actually customize it and make it like really bright i'm actually do it i just like fuck it. let me just put a really bright red type shit fuck it i mean like we, we need to be screaming enemy you know what i mean so that's the way i look at it i, I think that's really bright i think that actually might be kind of op we might actually you guys just might actually help me cook up with this so that's the way i look at it but yeah you could actually just mess with that tweak it i know a lot of people or not a lot but i know some people play with um their enemies on like pink or like blue or whatever but i don't know for me that could mess me up or i know in val it's like popular that the enemies are some people play with it on yellow which actually could be not bad but i don't know red is just so like the way i guess the way it registers in my brain and like the way it catches my eye it's it's a lot easier for me to just i guess like spot an enemy but so that's what i plan hud bounds i have these all the way i guess as close to the middle as possible so i go all the way far right and then all the way down till i get to here that's pretty much it Compass, I turn it off. This is very important as well. Um, the crosshairs. So if you don't have it on static, then I mean you could literally read it in the description. It says reduce motion sickness, but does not accurately represent the direction of the fire. So basically, like on your screen, like the game or like your crosshairs will always stay steady, even if you're swiping left to right, and you don't have to worry about like I guess the your crosshairs bobbing as well. It'll give you like the illusion that if you don't have it on static, that it does that. In my opinion, it's pretty it's pretty important. Like I notice it right away if I don't have it on. So. That's definitely a setting that I have, um, at least in my opinion, that I need to have on static, but I've definitely seen some people play without it. Um, here, I just play with my um, my frames um, showing, I guess, like the FPS counter, server latency, pack a loss, um, especially in this game. I don't know why, it's just you get pack a loss in this game a lot. And that's pretty much it for these settings, but that's pretty much it for this tab, account and network. Um, the only thing I touch here really is by default, the game has the gore effects um, on. I don't really mind it, but um, I kind of go for like that arcadey feel of uh, the game and I just have it off. So it just like looks clean whenever you kill somebody. Um, again, preference, not really any advantage in doing either or with that. That's pretty much it. I think we nailed it for the, the class setup, the settings. So now we're getting ready to rip some uh, some bots here. Actually, we're going to go into a game and I'll, I'm just going to show you guys the different stages. I guess like the, the pillars of aiming. So we're going to go knock those out right now. I bet. So this is one of the first stages, I guess, to um, describe is the recoil control. So uh, right now I'm just going to rip the wall. So basically every gun in the game has a specific recoil pattern. I guess if you can just try it out for yourself, you guys could see what it looks like, I guess. So you know for the future to like how to pull down and all that stuff. So we're just going to start off by shooting this wall and then you guys are going to see the specific pattern. And again, this is me not touching my right stick. It kind of makes like a weird... Uh, I guess like line, I guess that's the 12th bullet and then it just goes up left and I guess back up. It depends obviously as well on your build. Like if you have flash hider over bulleted, then it's going to recoil a lot more flash hider. So I'll also show you guys the side by side with that was me without touching my right stick. And this is going to be me with the right stick or I guess pulling it down. But then again, I don't really ever shoot this many bullets. I feel like you get past this part of the recoil pattern that the gun becomes a little bit harder to control so i kind of just shoot in burst kind of but 
Um, you guys can do whatever you want. That's pretty much it for the recoil uh, pattern. All right, so now we're going to be talking about the rotational aim assist. This is very important here. This is pretty much what makes, especially dynamic controller aimers broken. So you definitely want to be abusing this. I'm my boy Valves here. Uh, we're going to be testing this out. As you guys can see, he's on the right. I'm just aiming right here. I'm um, dead center. So like he's going to be running in front of my screen. As you guys can see, nothing happens. It's pretty much like as if you have no aim assist, you're on mouse and key, you know what I mean? Um, but now we're going to be testing it out with uh, moving our left stick, so uh, just go whenever you want. You guys can see, like, kind of just... It's almost like your aim guides you towards him. Obviously, it doesn't do anything because I'm not touching my right stick at all. This is like, look, this is just me free-flowing right here. One hand. And it's almost like... <laughs> It looks so OP when it's like, and I guess in that form, but so basically the whole idea behind aiming is you always want to be uh, moving your left stick and just staying active with it. Especially even if you're like laying down, just like kind of just twirling your stick. This is kind of what I do a lot. It just helps it with, I'm just always activating it. I don't really see a point to, even if you are holding a really good head glitch, for example, let's say if you're like here and you don't want to move, like it's still like kind of just give a little twirl or just always keep that rotational aim assist going because I mean <laughs> definitely want to activate that part it's just it makes your life a lot easier and and you're gonna be able to get a lot more beam so definitely do that all right so I guess the third stage of aiming is um centering this is something that if you guys do watch my streams a lot you guys watch my gameplay a lot this is something that makes a world of difference especially um at the top level and just overall getting better aim pretty much any fps this concept of just crosshair placement centering has, um, it just helps my aim tremendously. So it's pretty much just always resting. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm just spreading around right now. The center dot in the middle of my screen, um, just putting it on where I think an enemy could be potentially um, peeking or uh, challenging me from. It just makes it so you don't have to do any extra work. Um, obviously you have to do like minimal, I guess with the minute details of just like adjusting like recoil control and um, depending on if he's on a head glitch or not, but the general idea is um, you just have it on where you think they're going to be and so you don't have to do too much work especially if they peek you from around a corner and it just makes it um, a lot easier. I guess the best way to get better at centering at least in my opinion is um, just anticipation especially is like so I guess game knowledge so the more hours you play and the more um, better at predicting you get at your opponents and stuff like that you'll just know where to look so that's just probably number one. Um, Another thing too is you don't you don't want to have like especially when I'm playing rank you don't want to have centering like for example like let's say if you're just running around the map you're like this kind of just looking at the floor and like you could make it work because you could always I guess like snap but why would you kind of always play like off of let's say if an enemy peeks me from over here right and I'm just kind of just running around like this and then I just have to like do like that micro adjustment it just makes it so you're giving. I don't know, like a couple milliseconds um, delay or behind over an enemy that, um, let's say if he was centered on you, that he's going to have the extra jump on you. And in a game like COD, it's where everyone can pretty much zap and shoot straight due to like the rotational aim misses and all that stuff. Um, you definitely don't want to fall behind, I guess, on that advantage. So I guess having really good centering and always being, um, I guess the term that I use a lot is having your gun up and always, um, even if you get caught off sprint or anything, um, having really good centering is something that's especially a player the way I play sometimes you you take a lot of risk and you're run, or running around on the map like it could bail you out a lot so um, it definitely bails me out a decent amount of times especially against people that um, don't really take advantage of it so uh, this is definitely a concept that um, I still apply even applied to it like on Val it's called the uh, I guess a little different on that game it's crosshair placement but it's pretty much um, the same uh, idea so all right, guys, so we're at the portion now that this is pretty much my uh, sanctuary. This is where pretty much I play every single day. Um, even if I don't, let's say if I have like a day off or anything, um, this is pretty much what I'll do even on those days. I'll just get on, shoot bots. It's like therapy, honestly, for me. It's just it's easy. I put the bots on recruit to be able to run around and get a feel for, I guess, the movement and uh, my aim. And uh, so this is pretty much it. Um, I'll get in a game and basically just want to shoot around if you guys also watch my streams you guys will notice that um i just shoot in bursts almost um for example the closer i am i only shoot four bullets at a time and the reason i do that yes it does look pretty satisfying and it looks clean if you do um it connects and you get the kill but um for me the way the reason i do it at least is just more so um 
it's the I guess the minimum amount of bullets it takes to kill um, an opponent and um, that's if I don't kill the bot in four bullets up close then I just know that um, I wasn't perfect so you know what I mean so I pretty much just always have to reset and um, just shoot like another burst or just like clean up the kill and um, obviously as you get more and more warmed up oh my god the <laughs> bows that was his oh. comedy. The, the bots are running around and he's just turning it. He's actually turning into shots. So you just like canceling. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll just shoot in like burst. And um, as you get better and better and you get more comfortable uh, with your aim, and um, I guess the more warmed up you get, you'll get a little more faster and faster. That's pretty much it. Here, Doug. Dude, Doug it loves it. out. <laughs> Looks like I got your OBJ. Yeah, he loves it. <laughs> I'm down, though. I know, that's why I love you. Yeah, that's dog. free content right here. Top red, top red, top red. Weak, top secret. Secret dead, top wow, red. You're going top red, dead. Oh my god, he's about to get top 250. Oh, I got low left. Dead. Wait, what the? MCW is horrible. I just let Doug die. Oh my god, Doug, I'm so sorry, dude. I will. Should be here like any second. Dead. It's not, he's gotta be like back down or somewhere. He's a little left, I think. Yeah, I just heard him. I just heard him. Two flat on me. What? What the hell? Watch out the way. Watch out, man. Just watch the wall hop. Uh, they're all taking the wall hop route. All them off a cruise? Like, no one's gonna think that. Surely not all of them. All of them. One's absolute. There's two back there. Two, two back down there. This guy on Mars? On the bar? Behind the bar? Weak? Weak, weak, weak. Right away? Terrified. Over, over the wall. Lying there. One shot. In the back again. Oh, these guys over the wall again. These guys are these guys are just team wall hoppers. Head? Oh yeah. Oh my god. No. Oh no. I just choked. Oh my god, you ripped, you ripped, you're gonna rip. I mean this is un unbreakable yeah. iron right here. Sure. Oh shit. Slide under him. Light under him. I'm not even gonna get on the point. I'll even help. <laughs> Put a trove. Wall hop for Ernie. No way. Three three calf, three calf, man. Fuck his calf. Right there. Yo, this gun Doug's using is insane. We definitely GA'd that, right? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a... We I'm better. Just... How come every time I'm here, they go wall, Great. but every time I'm... Nice, man. Nice. I go wall hop. They go three around. But then they go, go three... Plays, go plays, Doug. Go plays, Doug. Dude, it's not adding up. Time is it what I'm at? It is 9:17. Dougie Fresh. Aren't you in the four-time national right? champion? It's probably like fucking 5 a.m. where you're at. Man, I know you love teaming with Doug. Uh, he's yeah. the best teammate. That's for sure. It's <laughs> dope sometimes. Top three, bro. Why is that guy even like? He should just leave the game. I'm not gonna lie. I, I think he might just just he should just leave. Cause now I'm gonna come over here and just spawn kill him. Enjoyed all he, my nope. former oh, teammates. He's, me. he's he's back. Deep shit. Back right. Fuck it all. Sh fuck it all. Street. Wall burgers. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Oh Shannon, mine is so bad. It's I insane. Appreciate the gift. On point. On point. I'm gonna go for the guy. Ah. Down. Spawn killed him. I'm having this just so much fun. Take it, Ernest. Take it. We need to kill him. Take it. He's dead. Hit our back diner. Oh my god, they're all, they're actually, wait, they're all three on point, I'm not even trolling. Dude, he's 
Town horn. We actually me, lost the town. Me hacking, doing something. Oh god, I did see him. Okay, I'll run his world. And I found on the point. Drew's keeping the map. And car bus have one arches. Let's go back to me. Ed. Nice. Huge. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, we need a fourth. Chat, let's cook up cook up SMG players. I might have to hit up the Bulldog. We seen anyone, bro. We need some camp too with Paka. Like, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Like, if Ed was on it, say, eh, AG never plays shells. We need chem, or we just chem. need someone who's just fried and just, like, doing brain dead shit. Yeah, it's man, working. Cap would be perfect, man. Yeah, Cap would and be TJ. perfect. And TJ. TJ Cap would be fucking... TJ's amazing. been dick riding lately, so... But TJ's just like, but, you know, I want to challenge you guys. Like, he just thinks he's good, dude. I don't know, the fucking... Maybe that one day got to his fucking head. Fucking shit, saying I have to humble him today. Top secret, that... On point, dead. Oh my god, you're fucking hacking. You know I what? See, I, you're ripping, you're ripping. I'm sure it's their spawn. Kinda dizzy. Never mind, subject's better. You got reality checked? He's dirt, man. Fuck. I mean, one's going top three, one's on Douglas. Okay, we have two guys, three guys in red, one guy's in red, one guy's on me. <laughs> I broke their trophy. That's actually, it's gonna, it's gonna play a factor later on to this round chat. Dude, this guy's looking at top flat, like... These guys are cheating, I'm convinced. Yo, Toby, you wanna play a chow? Toby, we have chow, we have a chow. Yeah, tell Toby, yep. We said we need him we specifically. Need Paco. We need him specifically. Toby, I'm getting ripped though. Oh wait, how the fuck did Doug get through? Am I high? I got three. Oh my god. It's one Got to only try my my calf. One time oh my god, I'm gonna get any help. Shit, I no! Oh, Doug's baiting me, man. Ernie, he's baiting me, man. Wait, no help, man. Doug, he's baiting me, man. It's in the bus. This guy's actually a freak. It's the first gunfighter all year I've gone to someone like that. One guy's front bus already killed that guy. And then the rest are wall hop. Nice! One shot. On the back out. I'll, I'll oh my god, dude. Dude, I'm just kidding. We don't have. I know you have a trophy system. You didn't deploy. You didn't actually. No. You actually lost. Wow. Dark's gotta go big. Dark's gotta go big. Unless someone goes massive, dude. Shit. Low. Low. Gotta go crazy. Dead. Just got jerked. Okay. Tell me which. He's running away from me. He's terrified. Hey, middle. Let me see if you're, if you're cash tonight. That's actually cash right there. Mine's cash. Look. Hit him. Oh, wait. I hit him. You actually hit him? With no flak either. You're not even hitting him a little? No, no, no. Mine was ca I pinged it. I had, I had proof. Yo, what the Is fuck? dead. I'm cruising.
This guy's on Mars. This guy's in the garage. Poor shit. One shot garage. One shot of final little, little square. It's all good though. Some nade. Some nade. Oh, oh man. trove, man. We were both cashed though. Man, I'm horrible. Just get ripped, man. Dog's lagging the fuck out. We're lagging out. Dude, I'm 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 getting spawn killed. He's top flat. Oh no, I should have shot him earlier. Fuck. Oh, we're good. We got the train. And on the fucking point. Our oh, window running at you. Oh, I got a fucking sandwich like a fucking Oreo. Just got Oreoed. MP5 on top red. Oh my god. I hear you. I hear you. We're not gonna lose. This is where we fucking. This is where big dogs are made. Dead. I haven't got a kill. I've gotten one kill in like five lives. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Take it. We're getting no map control on the left. Who, is that Doug hiding? Oh, Doug's got. Oh, we got. We got to get a gas up, Doug. He's not playing black. confident. Dude, he's black. I can't get a fucking kill. White. There we go. Nice. 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 My God, Ernie's ripping.